Seems legit. Mates, welcome back. Today I am engraving some random business cards. Now this one was done, ignore the fact that it's crooked. This one was done with a solid fill really really slowly and two passes and it took about half an hour to engrave that. Uh, this one I did as a line drawing and it took oh, like a couple of minutes. Now, is this one clearer? Yes. What I could do to make this one clearer, though, is probably just slow it down a little bit. Uh, they are both on 100% power. This was 10 millimeters a second with two passes, and this one was 100 millimeters a second with one pass. So their clarity is seen by how quickly the laser went, um, but the depth hasn't actually changed it. Like, it feels the same on both. So let's, I'm only going to show you the line drawing and I'm not going to speed it up so you can see it go in real time. I didn't optimize the settings so it kind of jumps all over the place. So if you optimize it, it would go even quicker. But I just thought these were a fun little joke thing to give like my mates and stuff. Uh, so let's go watch it get lasered. All right, so I have turned the laser on and I have clicked frame once, which is why it's not sitting in the corner. Then I am peeling off that backing. Now it can get quite a bit stubborn. So I find that a weeding tool from my HTV stuff is the perfect thing to just get the corner up without damaging anything. And then from there you can just peel it off. I like that it's there because it means that you won't get any unnecessary scratches from having it in a drawer or however you store your things. Next up we are going to frame to make sure that the card is lined up and even. Right now I'm not doing anything because I was changing the settings. So this is on a line drawing, not a fill. I probably should have done fill, but I just wanted to see the difference. So we've got a line drawing at 100 millimeters per second at 100% power. I always do per second because it requires lower maths numbers is pretty much why. I know they do say to use a diode laser in minutes, but I just find it easier in seconds. So that's what we're doing. Now you can see here, it doesn't necessarily do all the letters next to each other. It jumps back and forth a bit. I could fix that in the optimizing of the settings. When you double click on whatever setting you pick, you can go in and fine tune it in there. So I definitely should do that next time because then it will move kind of left to right, top to bottom, and it will cut down the total runtime for you. Because the whole point of this is to be as efficient as possible. And what it's currently doing is not at all considered efficient. Um, I also found that this wasn't as accurate as the full slow fill. So next time I think I'd do it maybe, maybe 80% or 80 millimeters per second as a speed instead of a hundred. I just think that might look a little bit nicer because the whole aim is to be professional, obviously. You can also see that I really need to clean my honeycomb for those that don't know, and I'll probably do it as a video for those that do not know. Um, degreaser, you spray it with degreaser, leave it sit for a while and then blast it with a high pressure hose and it just, all that gunkiness, because it's like burnt glue and stuff, it just falls off. I have done it several times. You can see I cut a lot of big circles, because you can see that outside circle line. It's just like burning wood and burning glue. So I will be cleaning that maybe over the weekend. We will see. So this took, I think, three minutes something in total to get laser engrave that's not including the time it takes to line it up and stuff um, but you could definitely smash these out in under five minutes if that's something that you wanted to offer you can see i'm on the last line now this was actually just a funny random idea i pulled off the internet there was another one that was like assassin it doesn't cost as much as you think I thought that was a bit funny, but International Jewel Thief just seemed, you know, lighthearted funny. So you could give these to anybody. You 
you could also use them as loyalty cards and every time they come back you laser another section. Um, but I think that's still come out really nice. You can see it's nice and shiny. I love it. 